Then the next class is the beta blockers. So, beta blockers. So, there are many types of beta blockers. We've got the tinolol, uh, bisoprolol, carvedilol, nadudolol, sotalol. So, there are many lol drugs which are the beta blockers. But before I do explain the difference between them, it's very important to understand physiologically some concepts. So, basically, we've got some neurotransmitters which are like adrenaline and noradrenaline and they can act in adrenal receptors. So, there are alpha-1 adrenal receptors and alpha-2 and then the beta receptors, beta-1, beta-2 and beta-3 and basically, these neurotransmitters can act in these receptors. And the beta blockers, they will block the, that action on the beta-1 or beta-2 receptors. So, let's talk about the beta blockers itself. The beta blockers, when they act on the heart, they block the beta-1 receptors so the beta 1 they are on the heart, the beta 2 they can be found on the smooth muscle and the, also on the lungs and the beta 3 can be found on fat cells. So when we are talking about the mechanism of action of the beta blockers, we are talking about the beta 1. So when they block it on the heart, there is like a decreased heart rate so decreased uh, cardiac output, so decreased blood pressure. That's a mechanism of action. And we'll have different classes, different types of beta blockers. We'll have the beta blockers that are cardioselective, so they only block on, on the heart. They are selective for the beta 1 receptors, whilst we have some that are non uh, cardio selective, so that means they will act not only on the beta 1 but on the beta 2 and also block the beta 3. Cardio selective, we have atinolol as an example and bisoprolol, whilst the non cardio selective will act in any beta. So, one example is propanolol and then they will have other side effects apart from diminishing the heart rate. So, when they act on the smooth muscle, the non selective, they can cause vasoconstriction and also, if they act on the lungs, they can cause bronchoconstriction. So, if we have a patient with asthma or COPD, we don't want this to happen, so we'll give them preferably a cardioselective beta blocker. Whilst, for example, if we have a patient with anxiety, then the propanolol is quite good because it can reduce the heart rate and the tremors all over the body, so there is indication to give propanolol. Other side effects with the beta blockers are coldness of the extremities because there is vasoconstriction, so that's a possible side effect, and some beta blockers are more likely to cause like vivid dreams, nightmares, because they can easily cross the nervous system and so they can do it. So the more water soluble do not cause these as much, so they are atinolol, nadolol, sotalol, for example. And last thing to bear in mind about the beta blockers is that they should not be abruptly discontinued because if they are, then some uh, cardiovascular symptoms may appear People may even like suffer uh, from a heart attack or they can uh, develop like an unstable angina. So when we throwing the uh, beta blockers, that should be always uh, supervised by the doctor. If you like this video, just give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. See you soon.